Elephants. Elephants are the largest living land animals. Three living species are currently recognized, the African bush elephant, the African forest elephant and the Asian elephant. Only those of the families Elephantidae and Proboscidea survive. During the Pleistocene period many species became extinct because of their great diversity. Distinctive features of elephants include a long proboscis called a trunk, tusks, large ear flaps, pillar-like legs, and rough but sensitive skin. The trunk is used for breathing, bringing food and water to the mouth, and holding objects. Teeth derived from incisors serve as weapons and tools for moving and digging things. Large ear flaps help maintain a constant body temperature as well as communication. African elephants have large ears and concave backs, while Asian elephants have small ears and convex or level backs. Elephants are scattered throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, South Asia, and Southeast Asia and are found in different habitats, including savannas, forests, deserts, and marshes. They are herbivorous, and they stay near water resources. They are considered to be keystone species. Due to their impact on their environments, Elephants have a fission, fusion society, in which multiple family groups come together to socialize. Females tend to live in family groups, which can consist of one female with her calves or several related females with offspring. The groups, which do not include males, are usually led by the oldest female, known as the matriarch. Male elephants leave their family groups when they reach adulthood and live alone or with other male elephants. Adult male elephants mostly interact with family groups when searching for a mate. They enter into an aggressive state due to the increased testosterone hormone. This is called mus. This helps in achieving dominance over other male elephants as well as reproductive success. Calves are the center of attention in their family groups and depend on their mothers for up to three years. Elephants can live up to 70 years in the wild. They communicate through touch, sight, smell, and sound. Elephants use infrasound and seismic communication over long distances. Elephant intelligence has been compared to that of primates and cetaceans. They are self-aware, empathize with dead family members. African bush elephants, Asian elephants, and African forest elephants are endangered. The main cause of elephant extinction is the ivory trade, as they are hunted for their tusks. Wild elephants are on the verge of extinction due to habitat destruction and conflicts with local people. Elephants are used as work animals in Asia. In the past, elephants were used in war, today. Elephants are often exhibited in zoos or used for entertainment in circuses. Elephants are closely related to the family Elephantidae and are the only remaining family in the order Proboscidea. Their closest relatives are Cyrenians and Hyraxes. Elephants and Cyrenians are further grouped in the Tethotheria clade. Three types of elephants are recognized, the African bush elephant in sub-Saharan Africa, called Loxodonta africana, the forest elephant, called Loxodonta cyclotis, and the Asian elephant, called Elyphus maximus, are found in South and Southeast Asia. African elephants have larger ears, a concave back, more wrinkled skin, a sloping abdomen, and two finger-like extensions at the tip of the trunk. Asian elephants have short ears, convex or level back, smooth skin, horizontal abdomen occasionally sagging in the middle and an extension at the tip of the trunk. The looped ridges on the molars in the Asian elephant are narrower, while the African elephant is more diamond-shaped. The Asian elephant also has dorsal bumps on its head and some spots of depigmentation on its skin among African elephants. Forest elephants have smaller and more rounded ears and thinner and straighter tusks than bush elephants and are limited in range to the forested areas of Western and Central Africa. Proboscidea are divided into three major evolutionary radiations of the order. In this second radiation originated in Gomphothus Africa in the Miocene and spread to every continent except Australia and Antarctica. Members of this group include Gomphotherium and Platybelodon. A third radiation began in the late Miocene and led to the arrival of elephants, which descended from gomphothers and were slowly replaced. The African primelophers gave rise to the gomphotheroids Loxodonta, Mammuthus, and Elyphas. Loxodonta lived as early branches around the Miocene and Pliocene boundary, while Mammuthus and Elyphas lived later in the early Pliocene. Loxodonta remained in Africa, while Mammuthus and Elyphas spread to Eurasia and earlier to North America. At the same time, Stegodontids, another proboscidean group descended from Gomphothus, spread throughout Asia. 
including the Indian subcontinent, China, Southeast Asia, and Japan. Mamutids continue to evolve into new species such as the American mastodon. During the early Pleistocene, elephants experienced a high rate of speciation. Loxodonta atlantica became the most common species in North and South Africa, but was replaced by Elyphas ialensis in the later Pleistocene. Only when Elyphas disappeared from Africa did Loxodonta once again dominate, this time in the form of modern species. Elephants became new species in Asia, such as Elyphas hysudricus and Elyphas platycephalus, although the ancestor of the later modern Asian elephant, Mamuthus evolved into several species, including the famous woolly mammoth. Interbreeding appears to be common between elephant species, leading in some cases to species with three ancestral genetic components. In the late Pleistocene, most Probarsidian species disappeared during the Quaternary glaciation, which killed 50% of species weighing more than 5 kg worldwide. These Probarsidians experienced several evolutionary trends, such as an increase in size, which led to several large species reaching 500 cm in length. Like other mega herbivores, including the extinct sauropod dinosaurs, large elephants evolved to subsist on vegetation with little nutritional value. Their limbs grew longer and their feet shorter and wider. The feet originally evolved into a plantigrade and digitigrade stance with cushion pads and supporting sesamoid bone. Early proboscideans evolved long mandibles and small skulls, while more derived ones evolved short jaws, which shifted the head's center of gravity. The skull grew larger, especially the cranium, the neck shortened to provide better support to the skull. The increase in size led to the development and expansion of the mobile trunk. Elephants are the largest living terrestrial animals. African bush elephants are the largest species of this elephant species. With male elephants standing 10 feet, 11 inches tall at the shoulder with a body mass of 5.2 tons to 6.9 tons, and female elephants standing 8 feet 1 inch, 8 feet 11 inches tall at the shoulder. Their body mass ranges from 2.6 tons to 3.5 tons. Male Asian elephants are typically 8 feet 7 inches to 9 feet 6 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh 3.5 to 4.6 tons, while females are 7 feet 6 in, 8.3 feet tall at the shoulder and weigh 2.3 to 3.1 tons. African forest elephants are the smallest species. With male elephants typically standing 6 feet 10 inches, 7 feet 7 inches tall at the shoulder and weighing 1.7 to 2.3 tons. Male African bush elephants are typically 23% taller than females, while male Asian elephants are only 15% taller than females. The skeleton of the elephant is made up of 326 to 351 bones, the vertebrae are connected by tight joints, which limit the backbone's flexibility. African elephants have 21 pairs of ribs, while Asian elephants have 19 or 20 pairs. An elephant's skull is resilient enough to withstand the forces generated by tusks and head-to-head. -head. Collisions The back of the skull flattens and expands, creating arches that protect the brain in every direction. The skull contains air cavities that reduce the weight of the skull while maintaining overall strength. These cavities give the interior of the skull a honeycomb-like appearance. The cranium is particularly large and provides enough room for muscle attachment to support the entire head. The lower jaw is strong and heavy. Due to the size of the head, the neck is too short to provide better support. Lacking a lacrimal apparatus, the eye relies on the harderian gland to keep it moist. A durable nictitating membrane protects the globe of the eye. An animal's field of vision is compromised by the position of the eyes and limited mobility. Elephants are considered dichromats and can see well in dim light but not in bright light. Elephant ears have thick bases with thin tips. Ear flaps or pinna contain many blood vessels called capillaries. Warm blood flows into the capillaries, helping to release excess body heat into the environment. This occurs when the pinna are stationary and the animal amplifies the effect by flapping them. Larger ear surfaces have more capillaries and can release more heat. Of all elephants, African bush elephants live in the hottest climates and have the largest ear flaps. Elephants are capable of hearing at low frequencies and are most sensitive at 1 kHz. The trunk, or proboscis, is a fusion of the beak and upper lip, although in early embryonic life. The upper lip and trunk are separate. The trunk of an elephant is long and unique. 
It contains up to 1 lakh 50,000 separate muscle fascicles, with no bone and little fat. This pair of muscles has two main types, superficial and intrinsic. The former are divided into dorsals, ventrals and laterals, while the latter are divided into transverse and radiating muscles. The muscles of the trunk connect to a bony opening in the skull. The nasal septum is composed of small muscle units that extend horizontally between the nostrils. Cartilage divides the nostrils at the base. As a muscular hydrostat, the trunk moves through coordinated muscle contractions. Muscles work with and against each other. A special proboscis nerve is formed by the maxillary and facial nerves and it runs along both sides of the trunk. Elephant trunks have multiple functions including breathing, olfaction, touch, perception and sound production. An elephant's trunk is capable of powerful twisting and coiling movements that help it gather food, wrestle with other elephants and lift up to 350 kilograms. It is used for delicate tasks such as eye sweeping and gate inspection and can crack the peanut shell without cracking the seed. With its trunk, an elephant can reach objects up to 7 m high and dig for water under soil or sand. Elephants can expand their nostrils by about 30% in radius. Increasing nasal volume by 64%, and can a human can inhale at 150 m s, 30 times faster than a sneeze. Elephants can inhale food and water to spray in their mouths and then splash on their bodies. An adult Asian elephant can hold 8.5 l of water in its trunk. They also spray dust or grass on themselves. When underwater, an elephant uses its trunk as a snorkel. The African elephant has two finger-like extensions at the tip of the trunk that enable it to grasp and bring food to its mouth. The Asian elephant has only one and relies heavily on wrapping and squeezing food into its mouth. Asian elephants have greater muscle coordination and can perform more complex tasks. Losing a trunk is detrimental to an elephant's survival. An elephant grazes by kneeling on its front legs, rearing up on its hind legs and taking grass with its lips. Elephants typically have 26 tusks, elephants have permanent adult tusks, which undergo tooth rotation cycles throughout their lives. An elephant's tusks are replaced six times in its lifetime. They are not replaced by new teeth that emerge vertically from the jaws like most mammals, instead, new teeth grow in the back of the mouth and move forward to push out the old teeth. The first set of teeth on each side of the jaw erupts when the elephant is two to three years old, and the second set erupts at four to six years of age. The third set will blow up between the ages of 9 to 15 and the fourth set will last from the ages of 18 to 28. Fifth set of teeth come in early 40s. The sixth set is lifelong. Elephant tusks consist of loop-shaped tusks that are thick and diamond-shaped in African elephants. The ivory was converted into a second incisor in the upper jaw. They replace the baby teeth at 6 to 12 months of age and grow continuously up to 17 centimeters per year. A newly developed tooth has a soft enamel cap that, like living tissue, is relatively smooth, it is as hard as the mineral calcite. The rest is in a socket in the skull. At least one third of the tooth consists of pulp, and in some the nerves extend to the tip. So it is difficult to remove it without harming the animal. When removed, teeth dry out and crack if not kept cool and moist. Provides multiple benefits. Elephant tusks are used to dig for water, salt and roots, removal or removal of trees, and for moving trees and branches while clearing a path. When fighting, they are used to attack and defend and protect the trunk. Elephants usually have tusks. The main tooth of these is called the master tusk. Both male and female African elephants have tusks of about the same length, up to 9 feet 10 inches, but males have thicker tusks. Ivory weighing more than 90 kg was common in earlier times, but weighing more than 45 kg is rare today. In Asian species, only males have larger tusks. Female Asians have very small tusks or none at all. Tuskless male elephants is especially common among Sri Lankan. The tusks of Asian and African elephants are generally thin and light. The largest of those identified was 9 feet 11 inches long and weighed 39 kg. Poaching for elephant tusks in Africa and Asia is causing them to become extinct. Elephant skin is usually very tough, about 2.5 cm thick on the back and head. The skin inside the mouth. Anus and ear is very thin. Elephants usually have grey skin, but African elephants can appear brown or red in color. 
Asian elephants have some spots, especially on the forehead and around the ears. Calves have brown or red hair, especially as elephants mature. The hair on their head and back darkens and becomes shorter, but the densest concentrations of hair and bristles are on the tip of the tail as well as the chin, genitals, and areas around the eyes and ear holes. Generally the Asian elephant skin is covered with more hair than its African counterpart. Their fur is thought to be thermoregulation, helping them lose heat in hot weather. The elephant uses mud as a sunscreen, protecting its skin from ultraviolet light. Although tough, elephant skin is very delicate. So elephants take mud baths to protect themselves from fire, insect bites and moisture loss. After bathing, the elephant usually uses its trunk to blow dust over its body and it dries into a protective crust. Elephants have difficulty dissipating heat through their skin due to their low surface area to volume ratio, which is many times smaller than that of humans. They were also observed to raise their legs, perhaps in an attempt to expose their soles to the air. Elephants can move forward and backward, but cannot trot, jump or gallop. Elephants walk and run at a fast pace. An elephant uses its legs like any other running animal, fast-moving elephants appear to run with their front legs but walk with their hind legs and can reach speeds of up to 25 km per hour. During locomotion, the cushion pads expand and contract and reduce both the pain and noise of moving a very heavy animal. Elephants are capable of swimming. They have been recorded to swim for up to 6 hours without touching the bottom and swim up to a distance of 48 km and a speed of 2.1 km per hour. An elephant brain weighs 4.5 to 5.5 kilograms compared to 1.6 kilograms for a human brain. An elephant's brain weighs 30 to 40 percent of its adult weight. The cerebrum and cerebellum are developed and the temporal lobes are so large that they bulge laterally. A pouch-like thing in the elephant's throat is used to store water. An elephant's larynx is the largest in mammals. The vocal folds are long and close to the base of the epiglottis. When comparing the vocal folds of an elephant to a human, the elephant is longer, thicker and has a larger cross-sectional area. In addition, they bend at 45 degrees and lie anterior to the human vocal folds. An elephant's heart weighs 12 to 21 kilograms. It has a double-pointed apex. An unusual feature in mammals. In addition, the ventricles are separated at the top of the heart, and when the elephant is standing, the heart beats about 30 times per minute. An elephant's heart rate increases by 8 to 10 beats per minute when it is lying down. Most blood vessels in the body are wide and thick and can withstand high blood pressure. The lungs are attached to the diaphragm and breathing depends primarily on the diaphragm rather than the expansion of the ribcage. Elephants inhale water mostly through the trunk. Although some air passes through the mouth. They have a hindgut fermentation system and their large and small intestines together are 35 m long. The testicles of the male elephant are located internally near the kidneys. An elephant's trunk is 100 cm long and 16 cm in diameter. It is S-shaped when fully erect and has a Y-shaped hole. The female has a well-developed clitoris up to 40 cm. The vulva is between the hind legs, not near the tail as in most mammals. Pregnancy status is difficult to determine due to the large abdominal cavity of the animal. The female's mammary glands occupy the space between the front legs, which keeps the nursing calf close to the female's trunk. Elephants have a unique temporal gland. Located on both sides of the head. This organ is associated with sexual behavior and males secrete fluid from it. Females were also observed with secretions from the temporal glands. Elephants are homotherms, with an average body temperature of tilde 36 degrees C, with a minimum of 35. 2 degrees Celsius during the cold season and a maximum of 38.0 degrees Celsius during the hot dry season. Elephant skin has no sweat glands, but water diffuses through the skin, cooling it through evaporative loss. Other physical or behavioral traits that aid in thermoregulation include unfurling the ears, mud baths, splashing water on the skin, seeking shade, and adopting different gaits. Additionally, the interconnected cracks in the elephant's skin prevent dehydration. The African bush elephant can be found in habitats as diverse as dry savannas, deserts, marshes, and lake shores, and ranges from sea level to mountains above the snow line. 
Forest elephants live mainly in equatorial forests. Asian elephants prefer mixed areas of grass, low woody plants and trees. Mainly in the dry thorn scrub forests of southern India and Sri Lanka and the evergreen forests of Malaya. Elephants are herbivores and eat leaves, twigs, fruits, bark, grass and roots. They are born with sterile intestines and need bacteria obtained from their mother's feces to digest vegetation. African elephants are mostly browsers while Asian elephants are mainly foragers consuming 150 kg of food and 40 L of water per day. Elephants live near water sources. Major feeding contests take place in the morning, afternoon and night. Elephants spend an average of 3 to 4 hours a day resting under trees and sleeping while standing. Male elephants travel 10 to 20 kilometers per day with their family groups. A distance of 90 to 180 kilometers was recorded in the Etosha region of Namibia. Periodically elephants migrate with their mates in search of nutrients like food, water and minerals. When springs dry up at Chogue National Park in Botswana, elephants travel 325 km to the river with their companions. Speed of African bush elephant is 40 km per hour. Elephants have a huge impact on the environment around them. Elephants are important seed distributors. African forest elephants ingest and defecate the seeds, with no effect, with a positive effect on germination. Seeds are usually dispersed in large quantities over long distances. In Asian forests, large herbivores such as elephants and rhinoceros are mostly used for large seed dispersal and forest expansion. Most of the food elephants eat is undigested, so when they excrete, dung beetles. Monkeys and other animals feed on their dung, elephants usually coexist peacefully with other herbivores, which usually stay out of their way. There are some aggressive interactions between elephants and rhinoceros. The size of adult elephants makes them almost invulnerable to predators. In Africa, predators such as lions, spotted hyenas and wild dogs prey on elephant calves. Tigers hunt in Asia. Female elephants spend their entire lives in matriarchal family groups, these family groups are led by the matriarch elephant, an older female elephant. These family groups consist of more than 10 members. It consists mainly of female elephant calves, and three mothers and their offspring. She is the leader of the group until she dies. When her term ends, the matriarch's eldest daughter or her sister takes her place. The population of some elephants in India and Sri Lanka consists of integrated family units. In South India, the elephant population consists of family groups, bonds and possibly clans. Elephants include one or two adult women and their offspring in small family groups. A group of more than two adult women and offspring is called a joint family. The population of Malay elephants also include small families. Groups of African forest elephants usually have a large female with one to three offspring. Especially during deforestation, these elephant groups interact with each other. The social life of adult male elephants is very different. As male elephants mature, they spend more time with their group and also socialize with outside males or other families. 80% of 14 to 15 year old elephants spend most of their time away from their families. When male elephants permanently leave their groups, they live alone or with other males. Asian males are usually solitary, but occasionally form groups of two or more individuals, the largest had seven bulls. African bush elephants consist of large male herds of more than 10 members, the largest of which is 144 individuals. Male elephants return to the herd only to breed or socialize, they do not provide prenatal care to their offspring but play a paternal role to young bulls to demonstrate dominance. Gestation period of Asian elephant is 18 to 22 months and African bush elephant is 22 months. Gestation in elephants usually lasts 2 years and interbirth intervals are usually 4 to 5 years. Births occur during the wet season. Calves are 85 centimeters long and weigh 120 kilograms. Usually, only one calf is born, but sometimes twins occur. The relatively long pregnancy is maintained by five corpus luteums and gives the fetus more time to develop, especially the brain and trunk. Therefore, newborn elephants are precocious and quickly stand and walk to follow their mother and the family herd. The new calf is usually the centerpiece of the herd members. Many adults and other young people gather around the newborn, touching and caressing it with their trunks. For the first few days, the mother is impatient with other members of the herd near her cubs. 
In some family groups the calf is cared for by someone other than its mother. Alamothers are typically 2 to 12 years old. For the first few days, the newborn is unsteady on its feet and needs support from its mother. It relies on touch, smell and hearing as eyesight is poor. It has less precise control of its trunk, causing it to roll around and trip. By the second week of life, the calf can walk more firmly and has more control over its trunk. After the first month, a calf can pick up objects in its mouth, hold, drink water directly through the mouth, but not through the trunk. It is already close to its mother and dependent on her. For the first three months, a calf relies entirely on its mother's milk for nutrition, after which it uses its trunk to forage on vegetation and collect water. Mother elephants continue to nurse the calves as before until the sixth month. By nine months, mouth, trunk and foot coordination is perfect. After a year, the calf is fully developed for more independent drinking and feeding. It needs its mother for protection and nourishment from predators for at least another year. A calf under one year of age can be milked at two to four minute age and continues to milk until it is three years old or older. Breastfeeding after two years is useful for maintaining growth rate, body condition, and reproductive potential. Play behavior in calves differs between sexes, females run or chase each other. While males play fight, they first become sexually mature at the age of nine. Puberty begins around the age of 18 in both sexes. Elephants have a long lifespan of 60 to 70 years, touch is especially important for mother elephant and calf communication. When moving, mother elephants touch their calves with their trunks or feet while they are side by side. If the calf is behind, they touch it with their tails. When a calf wants to rest, it licks its mother's front legs and when it wants to drink milk, it touches her breast or leg. Elephants try to look more menacing by raising their heads and spreading their ears. They try to scare them by shaking their heads and flapping their ears, as well as throwing dust and vegetation. Elephants usually produce many sounds through the larynx. But some are modified through the trunk. These include trumpets, roars, grunts, and rumbles produced for short or long-distance communication. Elephants can produce infrasonic rumbles. For Asian elephants, these calls have a frequency of 14 to 24 hertz. Sound pressure levels of 85 to 90 dB and last 10 to 15 seconds. For African elephants, calls range from 15 to 35 hertz with sound pressure levels of up to 117 dB, allowing communication over many kilometers, with a maximum range of about 10 kilometers. Finally these elephants were used widely in several works. That is historically, elephants were used as formidable instruments of war. In the modern era, elephants have traditionally been a major part of zoos and circuses around the world. In circuses, elephants are trained to perform tricks. Elephants have been used as work animals from the Indus Valley civilization to modern times. Asian elephants perform tasks such as hauling loads over long distances, hauling logs to rivers and roads, transporting tourists around national parks. Pulling carts and leading religious processions, elephants are more valuable than mechanical tools because they can work in deep water, require less maintenance, require only vegetation and water as fuel, and can be trained to perform specific tasks. Elephants can be trained to respond to more than 30 commands. Finally these elephants are a part of our way of life and environment. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this channel.